So one of the things which is really cool about visiting Belém is the airport is like 10 kilometers north of town. So one does not have to get up at ungodly hours to catch a flight. So of course, this saves time, you get some extra sleep, and it's a lot cheaper. Of course, driving at night you save even more time because no one stops for red lights. You just go right through them. Seja bem-vindo, B-E-L. Tiny but serviceable, and this time of the, this time of the day, um, pretty quiet as you can tell. We've got really nice indoor plants here. I'm trying to bring that Amazon thing in there. Surprise how many shops are open. Definitely very nice. It's definitely some more of the more vigorous plant life I've seen in, in airports. It does probably the best job that I've seen uh, compared to some other airports around with some greenery. Room for improvement, but from what I've seen, it looks like that's a fountain. It's just not working right now, so that's pretty cool. Missing out on the on the water. Uh, all gates and B uh, concourse are closed. I guess everything loads out of A, so it's a short walk down here. Um, it's much bigger than what the terminals would indicate. A um, lot of selection of shops and things. I am really surprised just how much is open right now. I mean, just about every restaurant is open, which is pretty cool. Gate 6 should take me about all the way down. It doesn't take long to traverse the terminal. Seja bem-vindo, BSP. We'll see where this bus takes us. I've got about two hours and 15 minutes, though, which is a nice layover to grab some coffee uh, at gate 21. So no rush. Thanks for the flight. So gates uh, 16 through 1 is behind me. My gate is, uh, I think, 21. So we'll be at the kind of the other side of the U, the square U. Certainly looking forward to something to eat. I'm starving. Then maybe we'll have some time to look around a little bit and uh, show you why this is one of my favorite places. <laughs> Santa Rain. Big wide terminals with really tall windows um, have great visibility on either side of the airport. A nice open floor plan. And good restaurants. It's always clean. I've seen it much busier. Definitely not a busy day by any stretch. Let's go confirm my, I think I'm 3335. So, numero um. To my left. I'll go check on that real quick. So this is like kind of the food corridor and there's one on the other side, but the other thing I like is like there's these little nooks you can duck into to kind of get away from that madness. It seems that this one side is goal and this other side here is all uh, log jam. But I like these big viewing windows here that uh, you can kind of hang out and chill. I know there's not a power outlets, but uh, it is a nice view. So I've got time to go check out the other side for uh, my flight. I've got a, a solid hour and um, change SIM cards and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, that's it. So that's gate 21. That is my gate. That's just too early. The flight's not on the board yet. This flight's actually going to Korchiba. And my flight actually is only about 45 minutes or so. Really short flight, which will be nice. And I got to make my way to the Enterprise rent a car place, which I think there's a shuttle involved with that. Should be fun. And uh, 
on to Chapada, Dos Camiones. All right, we'll explore a little more of uh, BSB. I like the signage too. I made something soothing about the green colors for the gate numbers. All right, that's it. Yeah, take up the whole walkway so no one can get by you. That is just classic. Just, there is zero regard for anybody else around you. They do integrate some greenery here as well too, take advantage of the natural lighting. It kind of runs on this side, east side of it, uh, kind of all the way down. You kind of see it from there too. Um, probably the most greenery I've seen since the Belay Network. It's a nice touch. Uh, Dufree is on this side as well too with, with all the, the plants. Uh, offset some of the carbon emissions maybe. Usually I'm in this side of the, of the airport. It's not often I'm in the 20s for gate numbers. Now once again they carry on this theme of really those are fake plants. <laughs> Big giant windows, just just you really get a good view of all the action on the tarmac out there. And all the action in the Dunkin' Donuts food court. So instead of there's a few chairs and tables, but uh, really there's no tables and chairs here. I wonder if Goal's just that much busier than La Tan, or they fly that many flights? I'm not sure. A partir de agora já é permitido usar seus equipamentos eletrônicos. When landing in Belém, I noticed a number of air taxi services. Here in Cayuba, there were many, many more air taxi services. I will say the kid only started to cry once we landed. He was quiet the rest of the time. And at this point, I can tell I'm fortunate enough to have another tarmac deplaning. Although Belém is statistically a busier airport, uh, many more planes on the ground here in Cayuba. Seja bem-vindo CGB. 
landing here would mark a number of firsts. My first time in Mato Grosso, my first time in Cayuba, and soon my first time driving in Brazil. So somewhere I've got to find the Enterprise car rental place. I don't think it's far. Um, so, all right, wish me luck. Two levels is kind of nice. I'd like to really grab a water before I leave as well. And my first impressions of the airport, simple, functional, clean, easy to get around. Uh, nothing fancy, uh, but covers the basics well. A janela está muito suja. The Enterprise car rental is just a couple minute walk just outside the airport here. And walking by these doors, while it's not humid, I can tell already it's hot outside. <laughs> 